All right, here we go. I'm gonna show you how to use the Phantomix Librarian software on your computer. Say so you want to back up your user settings. I'm sure you had to open up the folder and back up everything. So we're just gonna open up the Librarian software. I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, it'll work the same way on a PC. Go ahead and open up my folder. So here we go. Open up the librarian software. All right. Once it's open, first thing I want to do is I, I need to get all the data, so I have to connect my keyboard to the uh, to the software. So on a Mac, you go to Setup. It'll be the same thing on a PC. Just go up to Setup Mini Devices. And show my input, and my output of my Phantom X keyboard. I go ahead and hit OK on that. Now I need to go ahead and get all this information in because right now it's all blank. So I'm going to hit under the main window. The main is the actual the keyboard. So this is what's going to be looking at the keyboard. So I hit all and I get a message saying am I sure that I want to bring that stuff in. I hit OK. It's going to take a sec here. It's getting all the data. Once it gets all, this is good for for example, if you're building a bunch of uh, user patches, or you could do it for user performances. If you're building a bunch of them, and you want to be able to interchange between uh, different sets. Um, if you're touring, you can back them up on your computer, so you don't have to take your uh, your whole keyboard. You just take the file, you know, import it into the keyboard that you're using on the road. Or say you have a friend that has a keyboard and he wants some of your user patches or user performances, you could again, you know, back them up, save the file, and then uh, email it to that person. So it's still getting all the data here. V1 brief second. And again, this is just getting the user information. So this will be your uh, whatever information you're trying to get in. It'll be the user patches that I'm choosing right now to tell you what mode I'm in. So that I could I could do user patches. I could do uh, um, my performances. I could do my appraisals. Basically, you could back up all that stuff, or either use it to kind of organize your stuff. Say so you have you have different. Uh, um, uh, sets and you want to put all into one one in one main window you can interchange between the two using selected here so again this is just uh, doing a quick backup so you don't lose your information Morning. almost done here right. almost done once it's all gathered in here I'll show you how to back it up and uh, you'll be able to uh, keep the files and you're all set there. Almost done. Got about 10%. Yeah, you can see it's grabbing all the data here. Just look at all that right there. It's grabbing all the patch ton data. And you'll see it'll, it'll populate this area here once you got all the information. there we go it's populated there we go that's all the user information so now you have the option of what are you going to do you just want to do a quick backup you can even uh, just select certain stuff you know say you don't want everything you just select the thing and you just write that information or whatever but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do everything and then make it real quick simple so I'm gonna do like a quick backup of all my stuff so what I'm gonna do is again the main window is basically the keyboard the main means this is what's seen in the keyboard right now. So I'm going to go to File at the very top. I'm just going to hit Duplicate. And that's going to create, there I go. There's my backup right here. It's on Title. 
all I gotta do is give it a name and it's backed up to my computer so I'm gonna go here go to file go to save as pops up I'm just gonna call it phantom and then you, know, you can save it to your desktop save it wherever you want to save it uh, save it to my desktop whatever um, then once I give it in I just hit save creates a folder on my desktop that's pretty much it so when every time I want to um, open that file up all I gotta do is go to wherever I saved it um, I can now close this window here I have a backup on my computer but so I can go ahead and say if I go here and I go new you know I can go here you know I can go here hit open See, I can go over here and look. Here's my file right here, Phantom. It's a dot f x l, Frank X Ray Larry. That's the file format that it does. I hit open. There's all my stuff with the name and everything. So, pretty simple. You know, just make sure you set it up your in, your input and output devices to your keyboard. Um, you go ahead and. Uh, under main it grabs all your data here and again like I told you you could do your patch data you could do rhythm sets, you could do chords, or arpeggios rhythm groups, and material, or your rhythm patterns all this stuff could be organized and saved within the librarian so real simple open up the librarian to back up your stuff real easy on your computer you have a good day now